10 more insane tricks to turbocharge your computer's performance and add to its longevity. Let's get started. Number one, turn off Windows tips and tricks. Now, you know those annoying notifications that Windows likes to send about how to use Windows? We absolutely do not need any of them. So let's get rid of them. To turn these guys off, you're gonna head into your settings, go into system, then notifications and actions. Scroll down a little bit and you can turn off get tips, tricks, and suggestions as you use Windows. There are a bunch of different notification options that you can customize and mess with. Like if you don't want notifications to play sounds, you can turn the sounds off. You can honestly turn all of these off if you really just don't want notifications. Um, I have some programs that I like to see notifications for, but a lot of times you don't need them. You can also scroll down here and you can turn off a bunch of the actual programs to where you don't see any notifications from those programs. A lot of these things may seem kind of small, but grouped together, they do help your PC a ton. Another Windows action that could affect your processor performance is the taskbar, specifically this button right here down at the bottom. This is the news and interest button. When you look at it, it may be like the weather in your area. To turn this guy off because you definitely don't need it and it's just another process that has to run in the background, you can right click on this guy, go up to news and interest and then turn off. The next step is to use a lightweight browser. You have to stop using Microsoft Edge. You just have to stop using it. If your current web browser is slow, consider switching to a lightweight browser like uh, Firefox or Google Chrome. When slash if you do switch, there are a couple things that you could benefit from. Uh, for one, you can set your default app to Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever you choose. That way it's not always trying to open up uh, Microsoft Edge. And another thing to make sure of is that the startup is disabled and how you do that is you can right click here on the task manager go into the task manager go to startup and then make sure that Google Chrome is disabled. Now, these next items coming up have to deal with CCleaner. Now, CCleaner is a popular utility software designed to optimize and clean your computer by removing unused files, temporary files, and unnecessary data. A lot of things that we've already dealt with, but there are a few things in this tool that we're going to use today, like a registry cleaner that can fix errors and broken settings in the Windows registry, and that will definitely improve your computer stability and performance. Now, everything that we will be doing with CCleaner is a part of the free plan, and we will uninstall the program when we are done. Of course, you can keep the program if you'd like, but we'll uninstall it. That way your computer doesn't have this unnecessary program on it. To get started, let's click the first link in the description. This will bring you to the CCleaner download page. You can just hit free download. You can put the installer anywhere. I'm going to put the installer in my downloads folder, then run the installer. After waiting a second, you will see this page pop up. You can just hit install. You can uncheck the view release notes and then hit run CCleaner. From here, you can see that CCleaner free is ready for us to use you'll hit continue on this guy and then you're going to uncheck the set CCleaner browser as my default browser and then also hit decline. Now the first thing that we're going to look at is the health check. Everything is very simple in like one click. That's all you need to do. So we're going to hit scan PC. It will bring up a list of programs that it wants to close down. You can hit close programs. Then it will run through and scan your PC to tell you how many things that it can get rid of. In this case, it can get rid of 4.15 gigabytes, of cookies, temporary files, and browsing history. If you want to skip one of these, you can just uncheck the box here and then hit clean. It'll give you a summary of everything that it cleaned and you'll hit next. And then we're going to optimize our space. If you don't have anything in your recycle bin, it won't have the recycle bin selected, but if you do, it will have this guy selected. In this case, uh, I don't have anything in my recycle bin, so I'm just going to hit clean on this guy. It'll give you another summary. You'll hit next. Now, if you are coming from the previous video on how to speed up your PC, you will have already set up your startup apps and customized them to what you don't need and what you do need to start up when you start up your PC. So this next page talking about resolving issues is talking about what it can do to speed up your PC. Uh, you do have to upgrade to resolve a few of these things like upgrading um, a couple of these different softwares that are on the computer. I wouldn't worry about any of these guys. And if you do see something that's like, oh, I, I should update that, then just go to that program and update it from the program itself. So we're gonna hit skip for now. And then the PC health check is complete. Now, the next thing is a custom clean, which will run through a bunch of the things that we already went through with the health check. However, with the custom clean, you have a few more options that you can choose from. You can hit analyze and see what it comes up with. It may not come up with anything. But in this case, it did come up with a few things. These are just the items that we skipped during the health check. So I'm not going to delete these guys. It is a great tool if you know that there are a few things in here that you want to specifically target. Um, this would be the time that you would use the custom clean. 
Now, the next tool from CCleaner that we're using is the registry. Now, the registry scans for different problems in your registry, and you can look at all of these different things. It scans through your applications, your fonts, your installers, your run at startups, any of this stuff. So we're going to hit scan for issues. As you can see, I found 342 issues because I've never run this on this computer before. We're going to review these selected issues, and then it's going to ask if you want to back up the registry before making the change. We are going to do that just in case. I'm going to put this in my documents folder save that guy and then fix all selected issues. It went through and fixed all the 342 issues and we can close out of this guy. If you seem to run into any issues, go back to that file, double click on it wherever you saved it and it should revert all of your registries back to the previous ones. After we're done with the registry, we can click on tools. Now in the tool section, you see that we have uninstall, software updater, startup, browser plugins, a bunch of different stuff. A lot of these things we took care of in the previous video. If you guys have not seen that video, click up in the corner right now to go watch it. But since we're here, uninstalling programs is fairly simple. You will just click on a program and hit uninstall. Now the software updater is a premium feature of CCleaner. Uh, if you guys want to upgrade, you guys can upgrade your software from CCleaner, but I recommend just going to those programs. If you see one like Visu uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Code, I can go in there and just update it from the actual program itself. Uh, you can go to the startup menu here. It may show things that don't show in your task manager for some reason, like this Adobe Creative Cloud wasn't showing in mine. So I'm actually going to disable it. The next one is a big one. It's called browser plugins. Now I don't use Internet Explorer, but as you can see, there are two Internet Explorer plugins that are installed on my computer. So I can actually disable those and delete those. The next thing is a duplicate finder. This is very, very useful. It can find duplicates in any of your drives or folders. So you can include whichever drives you are wanting and then hit search and it will find duplicate files within your computer that you may not need to of. After running CCleaner on your machine, you have two different options. You can either uninstall this guy or you can keep it on your computer uh, and use it whenever you need. I am actually going to uninstall it and I'll show you guys how to uninstall this guy. So we're going to close out of CCleaner right click on this head to apps and features scroll down to ccleaner and uninstall you'll walk through the ccleaner uninstaller and then hit finish and you should be good to go now you don't have ccleaner on your computer but your computer is clean thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial if you guys have any questions or concerns please drop them down in the comments or head to the discord where me and my team can help you out and i will see you guys in the next video